I think the dining room is finished. What do you think, Looney? So we got this beautiful dining table from my friend Sarah's neighbor. First we were thinking about getting like a wood table that kind of matched this piece, which was left by the people who lived here before us. My friend Sarah Ashley, her neighbor was moving to the Cayman Islands and getting rid of a ton of furniture. And if you watched my last video, you'll know that we actually got COVID right before the day we were supposed to pick it up. So we actually had other friends go pick it up for us. She gave us so many things, including this dining table and then it came with these really old, heavy wooden chairs that were kind of an off-white color. So the dining table also came with a bench. I was like, can I just have the bench? She said, I I'd like to keep the bench with the table so I have a better chance of selling the whole set. It's a whole set. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. But she was like, well, I'll give you the whole set for $50. And I was like, yeah, I'll pay $50 for that. Even if we just keep the bench, I'm gonna pay $50 for it. But the table also looked sage greenish in photos. Then we, we saw it in person finally, I was like, oh, it's actually very bright blue. So it kind of just changed everything. We decided to paint the table white. Hey everybody, my friend Arilla is over. We're about to paint this table, baby. Wait, let me talk about what I did so far. So I took a sander yesterday and I sanded parts where the original paint was chipping off. Is that the right thing to do, Arilla? Yeah. I cleaned and sanded, cleaned and sanded, cleaned and sanded. Perfect. I didn't go so hard on the legs. Yeah, they're kind of ornate, but also you're not gonna be using those as much as the table, so they won't, right. they shouldn't chip as much. Cool, so then it sounds like I'm doing okay so far. I laid some plastic down. I put a little bit of room between these leafy areas so we don't seal it shut. We got the leaves on the ground. This baby's gonna be white. <laughs> I also have primer that we used on our walls that I read on the internet is okay to use on the table. Technically, the paint I got for the table has primer in it, but I just want to play it safe because as you can see, this paint really rubs off. Even like cleaning it, it was coming off on the rag. I don't know what I'm talking about. Does any of that make sense? Makes sense to me. Hell yeah. Okay, everybody, we primed this table before lunch. Then we ate lunch. Then we came back and started painting. Then I remembered that I should get the progress. Ultra white. It's ultra white. I'm hoping we have some leftovers so I can also paint the top of this bench, which is this weird light colored wood that I don't like anymore. All right, I just dropped a villa off and then I figured, well, all the paint stuff is kind of like out and available, I would also paint the bench that came with the table. There's Luna, she came home from daycare, she's tired. She's been really good actually about not walking in paint or being interested in the paint while we're painting. I just did one layer, probably pop one more layer on there, a little bit and then call it a day. <laughs> After we got that dining table and decided to paint it white, then we decided to get some just plain Ikea white dining chairs to go with it. Today I am building Ingolf. It's our dining table chairs. We're also getting a bunch of work done on the house onto our flood system and we're getting all new AC and furnace, which we're stressed about. It's a lot of our money is going bye bye. Home ownership is expensive. Luna's gonna help me build Ingolf. Oh wait, where is she? Oh, she walked away. Well, fuck me. Wherever my hand needs to be to build this thing, Luna's mouth has to be there. If I'm looking at something, she comes up and licks my eyes. Here it is, the final product. We got our Ingolf chairs. Beautiful, newly painted white table. I put a little runner on there and some blue things. My friend Kelly was the one who told me that I should paint the table. I sent her pictures of the room. I sent her pictures of the table. And she was the one who was like, I think you should paint it white. Then it will tie the whole room together. And then just look for a colorful rug that has white and blues in it. So this is what I found. See, it's got whites and blues and oranges and yellows, which I haven't really explored in my home decor in a long time, even though orange and yellow are like my two favorite colors. So then I just started collecting other items that I had. These are just dollar section Target candles. I have them in yellow and in orange. I have them in every color. When these showed up in the dollar section of Target, I just kept going back and getting more. They're just so cute and they're so versatile. Right, Luna? 
I got these tall blue candles to go in our little candle holders. Um, back in our old dining room, everything was green, so I had green tall candles, but now I have to go for that blue. And I'm pretty much just gonna have sunflowers on the table for as long as possible. It's my favorite flower, it's yellow, brings the room together. There were these two pieces that were left here by the folks who lived here before us, one of which I had to decorate, which took me forever. I, I kept looking at it and being like, this isn't right. You know when you like put things in something where you can actually see them. I like wanted them to be organized beautifully, but it also needed to be functional because we don't have a lot of storage in the kitchen. I had to put all the wine glasses in there and some teapots and cookbooks and like mugs, plates. So many things had to go in here and look nice. So I redid it like a thousand times. I have so many plants and this one I had planted in this like cheap plastic planter. It was just kind of ugly, but it was hidden before. And now it was gonna be on display, so I got this basket from Lowe's and it came in a two-part basket. The other one I put into my yoga area. I plopped this plant up here. I've had this pothos for forever. And look how well it's doing here. I've got my ZZs in some blue pots so that they kind of tie the room together as well. Oh my gosh, ignore the mess. It's Luna's gotcha day, so she's been spoiled all day. So this is the other half of the pieces that we got from the folks who used to live here. Um, we think it's like an old, look at this. This is how I play with my dog. It's kind of like an old bar cart. This opens and, and unfolds, but we don't think we'll use it for that. So we put Brian's big, beautiful mirror on top of it. Okay, ignore that, it's not gonna stay there. This is a chair that we got from Sarah's neighbor. She was like, do you want this chair? And I was like, yeah. Yeah, I really do. Just kind of a little plant holder for now. And then my mom had given my brother and sister-in-law a bunch of antique art that she had. Tan was like, go through this and see what you want. And I grabbed these two pieces out because I think they're so pretty. This is my favorite painting. It's called July and it's by Tissot. <laughs> and my friend Armando replicated it. Isn't this beautiful? I thought it was the perfect kind of centerpiece for the room. We had this in our old dining room as well. But this is our basket of cloth napkins. We're only done the last three. These are my vitamins. And then we have uh, so many candles. <laughs> Here's where the bench to the table ended up. Painted it white and now it's here and it's meant for putting the laptop on it to do yoga. Oh, there's Luna's cheese. And there's Luna's butt. But if we ever have a lot of people over, the table actually extends. There's two leaves that go with it. The table extends this way and then we'll be able to scooch the chairs around and then pull that bench up. So yeah, this is our dining room. This is the moment I'm gonna find a way to make it stay. Touch you like you touch me. I wanna make you queen of the jungle. I wanna stop a wedding for you. Maybe it will rain, maybe it will snow. It won't even matter if I know that you won't go. This is the moment, the feeling I never had before. This is the moment, the moment I've been waiting for. This is the moment I'm never gonna walk away 